My name is Alexander Stepanov and I'm presenting you the new project, Beauty Test. What's the point of this project? You send me photos of your works and I examine them. If everything is perfect with your work, I tell you, yes. If something is wrong with your work, I tell you, not exactly. But guys, I'm not going to bring you down. This is for giving you an advice to correct some mistakes and improve your skills to perfection. All you need is to make detailed photo of your work and send me on my email. Let's get started! My subscriber Linda made common mistake. She made short sharpie nails. It looks not exactly correct, because this way nails seem like animal claws. What do you think about it? I like this work very much. And I can see that it's not easy to make long gel nails. And as you can see on my skin, I'm showing you how to correctly file and shape nails of the shape ballerine. And the longer nails, the better will be the result. This is the common problem when you are trying to put the product very close to cuticles but you didn't uh, apply it before uh, the perfect hardware manicure. So how to solve this problem? Of course you should make the perfect manicure and it will be easier to put the product gel polish or the gel paint close to cuticles and of course it will solve these problems. So guys if you are not ready to put to make uh, the perfect manicure so try not to put the product very close to cuticles Okay guys, and the next problem uh, is the smile line. When you, uh, when you see uh, the broken smile line like on my skin and on uh, the work of my subscriber, you have two ways to solve these problems. Uh, at first I think your brush is not prepared enough and you can cut some hairs around. And the second thing you should do is train your hand to draw the smile line perfectly and never cut it this way. The smile line should be faded to the side wall like on my skin. This is the common mistake of the beginner when uh, the side of, sides of nails are very wide. Uh, so you, you don't feel uh, the file at all uh, when you take it uh, for the first time in your hands. So you should keep this file strongly and move only one way, up and down. Don't twist the hand to the left or to the right side. You should work like the machine and after the long time training you will understand me. But as the beginner you should compare one nail to the other nail and analyze what you have done uh, wrong. 
and only only this way you will improve your skills if you don't have the teacher who is staying by you for example me i train it that way I don't know exactly how to pronounce your name, sorry, but your works are amazing. You sent me a couple of works uh, and I noticed only one mistake. You put products so far from cuticles and sometimes it seems like nails are staying on uh, one week already. To solve this I suggest you to train to the maximum Russian style manicure remove the derija from the nail plate and remove all the dust and this will help you to achieve the perfect smile line and I'm sure your clients will see it and they will like this result and will come back to you again and again because you are perfect nail technician And now we have the same problem uh, when the manicure is not applied perfectly uh, you're trying to put uh, the product close to cuticles and, and drops of product uh, are touching the skin in uh, some areas and we have bad result like this and work seems not accurate at all and now I'm showing you the difference between the clean work and when you are applying uh, the product not accurate in cuticles area so everything depends on how you made uh, how you prepare the nail plate before applying the product the perfect manicure now is the most important thing in nail industry In these nails I don't like the color of the color pink gel and I think it's awful uh, because it seems nails don't look natural this way and they look cheap. You should pay maximum attention when you are choosing the color of color pink gel. For white skin you should choose light colors of pink and beige and never choose bright colors like orange or peach this was not the best decision for these nails but I noticed that you have tried hard Sometimes, guys, I don't know why you send me such photos. I understand that you're trying to apply nails at home. But in this case, I suggest you, my friend, to go to the education center. Because you have made all mistakes that you have ever could make. The cuticles are flowed with the gel. Nails are very white they seem bulky and it seems that you didn't shape that nails at all and next time please analyze your work before you send me and never send me stuff of other nail technicians
Okay, and the next question about the composition of flowers. In on your photo, I think that it's not the best idea to make too much flowers on the free edge of these nails. They look really wide and bulky and not accurate and never they will look graceful. Um, but I think it was the best training for you for, uh, for sculpting tiny flowers on nails. I have an advice for you, please make less details like you can see on the scheme. Just follow the composition, for example, the diagonal composition like you see here. And I think this result will be better than overload all nails with such flowers. I'm sure you had the great idea, but this idea would be better for long stiletto nails. Oh my god, I see now the common mistake of a lot of nail technicians. They forget about the stress zone and when they are applying cat claw nails on forms or on tips, they forget to make the apex on the stress zone. It will protect the nail from breaking and this way your nails will stay on much longer and you will no, never break nails suddenly. And as you can see on my skin, I'm showing you the stone. If we smash with the stone the tip of the nail, well, the stress zone will protect the nail plate from breaking. And in the worst case, you will lose only the length or the tip of your nail. And it will never traumatize your natural nail. So guys, you should pay maximum attention when you are sculpting nails, because this technique works many years. You guy, you forget about the arch of your gel nail. It's very, very important. When I was starting my career, I tried to make large arches and that time nails looked not natural. But you should remember that it's not necessary to, to make hard arches, like you see on competitive nails. But with the small arch your nails will be looking more professional and they will stay on much longer. You will see it. You made the great work, but especially for these nails, I want them to be a little bit thinner. I know that at the end, when you are applying uh, the final nail design, it makes your nails a little bit thicker, especially when this is the painted French nail design. And this is the biggest problem for the nail technician when we are working with white nail plate, to make them graceful. I can see you work a lot, so I can say only one thing. Well done! Hey, hey, do you like this project? Ask me more in the comments. See you in the next one.